I mean, I don't know if it's a break or I, I'm, I just, I don't know what it is. I mean, does it feel like a goodbye? No, no, no. I'll, 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 I'll see you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not right away, but I'll... I mean, I feel like if we want to talk, then we can talk. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like... A... Yeah, there's no rules. Right. I don't, like, not ever want to see you again. I want you in my life. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, know. I, I don't know what that's going to look like. I, I just... Mitch? Uh, Mitch? Yeah, Mitch. Oh, your door was wide open. I'm here about the Sonax. Oh, um, I emailed you earlier today. I said, uh, today was, didn't work anymore. I, I think I emailed and I texted. You emailed? Yahoo or Hotmail? I, t I, I texted too. Look, man. This neighborhood's hard for me to get to, all right? I have to borrow my step-nephew's car. It's literally sitting in the middle of the street right now. Um, okay, yeah. Sweet. Uh, this is Emma. Ryan. You guys okay? Uh, yeah, we were just, um... Uh, cutting onions. You know what that is? Lack of matter refactor synthase. Yeah, mm -hmm. cutting onions releases it into the air, uh, gets in your pores, gets in your eyes, boom! Water works. Um, okay, so this is the amp. Um, I've had it for about six years or so. I just don't really use it that much anymore, so. See that? Sonex 530B. You know, Gretsch used to make these throughout the 60s and 70s. You know, a lot of people don't know that Gretsch made amps, but they did. Big time. Yeah, my dad had it in our uh, garage for like 30 years. So. Okay. You mind if I give it a whirl? Um, yeah, yeah, go for it. So in the post you mentioned a buzz. Sometimes that's wiring. Sometimes it's a grounding issue. We'll get to the bottom of it. You know how many tubes are in the back? Do I know how many tubes are in the back? Sometimes these vintage amps have. I can't see them. You got a back, backing in there. Okay. Yeah, I hear the buzz. How much are you asking for? 250. Ryan, um, we were kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, um, we were just, we were cooking, uh, we were cooking a stew. We were cooking a stew, and we'd really, we want to get back to that, so if you could just, like, figure out if you want to pay for it or not, and then go, that'd be great. Okay, take it easy, all right? This is a significant purchase for me. So I just have to inspect it and, dude, there's a knob missing. What? Treble knob. It's gone. Oh, yeah, I, it must have just fallen off at some point. I didn't realize. That's pretty big damage to not put in the post. It still works. I mean, you could just start turn it and it's Yeah, still I mean, works. you could get drunk on a box of wine, but that doesn't make it a, a Chardonnay. What the hell does that mean? I mean, it just means that with the knob missing and with the buzz, mm -hmm. I could do like a hundred. hundred? You said in the email you already... A hundred bucks? Are you insane? One fifty. For this amp? Mitch's dad bought this amp in San Diego in like 1976. He drove across the entire country with it. That's a long, lonely drive, Ryan. He could have left it behind. You know, he, he never really took music that seriously, but he didn't. You know why? Because he thought, I don't know, maybe one day 
I'll have a son who wants to play. And do you know what happened? He did. He did have that son. And sure, that son never really took music seriously either. I mean, there was, there was like a phase where he kind of did, but, but, sure, but he never really like put the effort in. The point, the point is that his son took that amp into his home and he took it under his wing and he treated it with kindness and respect. And sure, it's not in perfect condition, but like what, what, what did you expect, Ryan? Seriously? A 40-year-old piece of electrical equipment without a scratch on it? How dare you? How dare you, Ryan? That damage is the only thing on that stupid little metal box that has any value at all. And you, you know that. Because behind this, this whole thing that you present, this, this person that you've decided to be, you know that the only things that have any kind of value are the, the damage and the broken parts and the missing little pieces. Everything else is just noise. It's just branding and, and blinking lights and noise. You can still, you can still fucking turn it. Still turns, yeah. Good luck with this stew. Thanks. Make sure to shut that front door, please. 